So this is Nathan here with Western Welding Academy. Today we're going to do a little short video on how to run flat beads on plate. We're going to talk a little bit about overlapping, long arcing, and how to fire up your rod correctly. Okay, so we want to talk about how to overlap your beads on plate. So when you're doing this, you want to, on your current bead, you want to overlap 30 to 50% of the bead you have laid down already. Now to do that, you're going to, when you're welding your next pass, you're going to put it right here at the toe of the first pass you put on. And you're going to run that rod right down the toe of that weld, nice and slow, give it time to build up, and it'll consume 50% of the current bead you have on the plate already. So as you can see, as I'm welding here, I'm yeah, keeping my rod right at the toe of that first pack, welding right down that groove. And I'm consuming 50% of that first pack. I'm running nice and slow. Give it time to fill in. Keep a nice tight arc length. Wire will this pass off? You can see right here, this is the first pass, this is the second pass. See, I consumed 50% of this first pass whenever I was overlapping. That is a correct overlap. All right. So, I want to show you guys how to do a restart too. When we fire up with our restarts, we'll strike up up here. We're going to drag our rod back and we'll swoop in here like this and grab our puddle and take off. That should give us a really nice restart. If you look closely, you can see the restart, but it's blended in really well. That's also how you fire up your 7018s when you're just taking off too. Even if you're not doing a restart, if you're just firing up and doing your first pass. You'll, you strike up ahead of, ahead of it, you drag back, you loop, you pause for a second, get your puddle started, then you take off. You will loop, we'll pause, and you just start welding. Just welding right down the toe of this other weld. You keep right in the toe of that weld. If it's straight, it'll keep you nice and straight for the next one. Just keep consuming half of that pass before. Now, we stopped in the middle of our plate, so we have another restart that we have to do. And also, when you're welding 7018, you want to keep a nice, tight arc. If you start long arcing it, it'll throw porosity in your weld. That's really important is to keep that nice tight arc. So we're going to go ahead and clean this off. Whenever you want to wire a wheel each pass, even if the flux falls off, so you can get that smoke off there so you can see where you're going on the next pass. So I was talking about the arc length earlier, how you want to keep a nice tight arc length. So with 7018, if you get a real long arc length, it will throw in porosity in your weld. So you want to keep a really tight arc length. I can go ahead and demonstrate to you a little bit here. I'll play with this and I'll show you what a arc, good arc length is, what a bad arc length is. So I'm going to fire off and get us a good arc length going. 
This here is a nice arc length. Real tight. A nice pretty bead. Not a whole lot of splatter. Now I'm going to make a long arc length. If you watch, you see how violent that gets. You'll see your arc dancing around. A lot more splatter. That's not what you want. You want to get it down in there. Get it nice and tight. It cools your puddle down. Nice smooth sound. Keep a nice tight arc length. Okay, I'll try to demonstrate this to you again on the arc length. I'm going to start off with a nice tight arc length. And I'm going to make a long arc length so you can see it. You'll see that arc start dancing around. It'll get a lot more splatter. It'll sound a lot more violent. Then I'm going to bring it back in and you'll see it, listen to it. You'll see it get, here it gets smoother. You'll see a lot less splatter and a lot more controllable arc. We'll fire up. We're going to drag our rod back. Take off. Got a nice good arc length going here. And I'm gonna lengthen it to where it's not a good arc length. See how it's getting real violent? You can hear all that splatter. You see all the splatter. I'm gonna bring it back down, get it tight. Run nice and smooth. Okay, again, I'm gonna get a long arc length. See that arc dancing around? Big ball shooting off the rod. I'm gonna bring it back down to where it needs to be. Another kind of rule of thumb on your arc length is whatever diameter your rod is, you don't want to get your arc length any longer than the diameter of your rod. So you got a 332 rod, you don't want to get longer than 332. Especially like 6010, 7018. 718, I actually like to keep it as close to the puddle as possible. If you look watching, sometimes it almost looks like it's actually buried in the puddle. Alright guys, this is it for me on this video. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button below. If you have any comments or want to see anything else, um, make sure to comment below. Check out our Facebook link and Instagram. We'll see you on the next weld.